Hey guys, this is Richard at Reefs.com. Thank you for joining me for this video. And for this video, we'll be giving you an update on 100% aquaculture and captive bred exhibit here in Frost Museum of Science. Let's go. All right, guys, before I give the 2025 update, here is the rundown for the people that's tuning in for the very first time. Five years ago, while I was making a video to raise awareness and becoming frustrated due to the constant attacks that Hobby was facing, I had an idea to use my work to bring education and raise awareness to another level. I had an idea, and this idea was to reach out to the people that's outside of our hobby. Since this idea formed, I have partnered up with my local museum, which is Frost Museum of Science in Miami, Florida as well as many of the amazing friends in our industry to create one of a kind 100% aquaculture and captive bred exhibit that showcased all the breakthrough achievements of our industry as well as set some of the misinformation straight so that one people can view the hobby in a more positive light two spreading the awareness and lastly advocate for the oceans as she desperately needs our help Looking back now, I realized how incredibly lucky I was to be paired with a team of such wonderful curators and aquarists, as well as all the companies that rallied around me to make this build come to life. I have spent countless hours, personal resources, and time to make the trip to source all the rocks, all the fish, corals, as well as the equipments for this build. After months of getting all the ideas together, planning for it, it came to life. I constantly went back to check up on it, at least once a month or so, while checking out how it was evolving and maturing. It was such a rewarding feeling to see a small frag that was about quarter inch to and a half inch frags slowly maturing into a mature colonies over the years. This is the exhibit in its full glory. Everything in the tank was man-made. It was aquaculture and it was captive bred and everything was maintained and grown using hobby-grade equipment. One of the main challenges of this build was providing an adequate flow for the animals. But since one of the rule was having no power heads, closed-loop design was utilized, and throughout the rock structure, the output was implemented, and which somehow worked out great, as you could clearly see from all the growth around the rock fixture. Paul the chorus that took care of this exhibit personally has told me that they had so much abundance of growth in this exhibit, frags of corals were going to various exhibits throughout the museum, which made me smile and feel proud. Observing people, especially young children, being excited about this tank, looking at the fish, corals, and reading the literature that was written to educate gave me a sense of purpose, pride, and contentment. So with that out of the way, here is the update that you guys have been waiting for. In 2025, unfortunately, this exhibit no longer exists in Frost Museum of Science. All good things must come to an end, and the museum was given a grant to revamp the whole third floor of Ocean Gallery building to display and showcase all the critically endangered and functionally extinct Florida corals. While I'm a bit sad that our beloved exhibit is no more, I am happy to hear that they will heavily focus on endangered corals and what they are doing about it, which will educate the people how dire the situation is and what we are doing about it and how we need to take action right now to save our Florida oceans. All the corals that they had pulled out, majority of the corals went to the GBR exhibit on the first floor in the Ocean Gallery. You can see the big colony of Acro on the side here, as well as the one over here. They are placed throughout the reef over here, which is fantastic. And all the duplicate colonies that they have made, they have placed it in the holding system down here, where they usually quarantine all the corals. Check out these raceways that are full of the corals that came from our aquaculture exhibit. The interesting information that I heard from the curator from here was that Florida Aquarium came not too long ago, and they really liked the coral selections that they had here. And... Now, a lot of the corals from Aquaculture Exhibit has gone up to Florida Aquarium, and it really makes me happy the work that we have done and the corals that we have gotten and raised is in different museums thriving under many different curators. Also, this doesn't mean that it's the end. This is just a small break before a new beginning, and I will be talking 
with curators from this museum to see what we could work on next. I have formed a great relationship with the curators here, and I look forward to coming up with something creative and visually stunning that will match with their new theme. I have a few ideas, so I think this will be fun. Also, I don't mention this often, actually not at all, but I wanted to thank everyone that supports and sponsors this channel. I wouldn't be able to afford to travel and do so many great things that I'm able to do. I am looking at you personally, Chad Clayton from Reef Nutrition, Danny Nadal from Rogers Reef Food, Jeremy Olson from Benepets, Michael Ho from Zooks, Shane Lafanier of 24-7 Aquariums, Team Biota, and so many, many more companies. Thank you again for your encouragement, kind words, support that you have given me over the years, and I can't wait to do this again. All right, guys, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. While this is sad, this is not the end, and this is actually a new beginning, which I am very excited for. If you have any suggestions or ideas on what we should do next, please comment down in the comment section down below. And I look forward to talking with you and sharing our next adventure with you guys. Thank you for watching and you guys have a great day.